Hi guys. So today I'm just going to show you how I'm going to enhance um, some of these, e well one of these eco dyed papers that I wasn't too happy with because there's not a lot of transfer or, or not a lot of color on it. I mean you can you could see a little bit there, like you see a little bit of a daisy, a little bit of an outline of a leaf. Uh, maybe I'll turn it this way. Nah, I'll do it like this. So I got to thinking that there are other ways that you can transfer plants to paper. So I was looking it up on YouTube and sure enough, you can pound. So it's called flower pounding. So what I've got here, I just went out to my backyard. I actually played around with this last week. And here are some of my experiments. You just go to your, go in your backyard and see, you know, just grab anything that you could think of, any leaves, any plants, anything, and just play around with it and see how, see how they transfer. Because some things don't really transfer at all and some do. I found out like the most delicate, the more thin and the more delicate the, the plant is, the more likely it will transfer, the better it will transfer onto your paper. So this is just watercolor paper, just the cheap like Canson XL. Here is a co corn flower. So this is just, I mean, that's everywhere. You know, you can find corn flowers at the side of your road. These are just wild flowers. This one is one of the really bright petunias that I have. Really bright, hot pink. It actually turned um, more of a purple color. Also, same way with my bright pink roses. So it seems like anything that's pink is going to transfer as a, I don't know if I want to call it mauve, no, or mauve. It's more of just a purplish color, which is fine. Um, just some like fern like. It's not really a fern. I'm not really sure what that is. Just They're just weeds, pretty much. There's a dandelion. The sparkle here, if you see the sparkle, that's just um, just where I was playing around with some glitter markers. Uh, this little spot right here, I like. I don't know if you could see that. It's um, clovers. The little clover flowers. I, and they're white, but they transfer really cute. Like a little, got like this little detail here. So um, my favorite so far are the corn flowers and the little clovers um so i've just went out picked some in my backyard and i'm just gonna transfer these to my paper and i'm just gonna do one at a time i tried it there's videos that i've seen they tape the flower down with some masking tape and then they pull it off. Well, I tried that and it tore my paper. So I've got apparently too strong of a masking tape and it's ripped my watercolor paper. So I wouldn't recommend, maybe, maybe you could use washi tape since that's not as, not as strong of a, of a stickiness. So there's one of my co corn flowers. I really like the blue transfer there, so that's really nice. Um, really helps out with just, you know, ones that your paper that hasn't, you know, didn't really turn out too much. So, oops, here we go. I'm just going to do like one at a time, I guess. So, what I do is just take a paper towel. I'll just cover this with a paper towel. Oh, I have a block of wood here, just a small block of wood, covering it with a towel, like a kitchen towel, and just going to place my flower where I want it. Maybe, I don't know, we'll put it here, get all my petals flat, like that, and where did my towel go? Okay, right here. So I'm going to cover it and then I'm just going to take a little hammer and we're going to just pound these petals in to transfer that pretty blue color to the paper. So a much faster and more guaranteed way to transfer color to 
your paper. So it's just a different type of eco print. Now, I'm pretty hard with the. I am pretty hard with the hammer, um, just so I can make sure that I transfer everything. Um, if you have plain tissue or if you have plain paper towel, you see how it transferred also to the paper towel. If you had just white paper towel, I think that would be nice that you could use at, in collage. So there's a piece of plain. Maybe I'll try that. Now it's still wet and it's stuck to the paper. That is why I wanted the masking tape. However, like I said, it tore my paper. So maybe I'll use the masking tape to try to lift this residue off. Let's try that. So I'll just lightly like lift it up because I don't want to scrape it off. All right. I don't know if you could see that color very well because my light's pretty bright. So I'm just taking a piece of masking tape here, as you can see, and just lightly like tapping it to get that extra residue off. That way I don't tear my paper. Come on out. All right, so I think I got everything. Isn't that pretty? So there it is and now you've got some more color on your page and this is going to be awesome for a quick background for something else so i'll have a focal point but i'll have all of these pretty things going on in the background and this is going to be really nice let's try let's see um is this I want to say that this is a green, a dandelion leaf. I don't know. I want to call it a dandelion leaf. I'm going to put it right here. So let's do that. And what happened to my paper towel? All right. I'll do it. Let's do it on the non-printed area of my paper towel. I have that face down, by the way. And let's... And you could see that color just seeping through the paper towel and it looks like it looks like the veining is transferring a lot easier than the actual leaf yep I'm gonna have a lot of residue there <laughs> okay no it lifted right up so that's nice and then there's that. So that's not like a real defined transfer, but it's it's adding color. Why is it so bright? There it is. Sorry guys. I think I need to adjust my lighting. And again, again with the cone flower, corn flower. I keep wanting to call it a cone flower, and that is not what it is. It is a corn flower. I'm going to do, let's say, sideways. So just arranging it, however, I'm going to try not to get too much of the green transfer because it turns brown. Okay. Where's my tape? Okay, let's pull that off. All right, so I was lighter handed with this one. So it came out more light. Right there. Let's do another one. Let's do another one right here. And I'm going to cut a lot of that stem or that center off because where's my scissors where's my, here we go so the center is like green but it ends up turning a more brownish green i'm going to try to if i cut this off the petals are going to come apart 
So let me see if I can just, I'm going to be more careful with this and try to just maybe not be so rough with the center and concentrate more on the outside. And I apologize for the noise. It's going to be loud. Um, let me go around. I just go around that center. I see it. And I'm being harder with it again so I can get more of that blue. And I'm just going to do lighter in the center. There. There. See how that turns out. Okay. If you see on the paper towel, there it is. And get some more of that residue off of there. If I can pick it off with my hands. And I'm doing this because those are really wet now since I've smashed all the moisture out of them if I if I scrape it off it's going to smear so like I want to say well like the petunia here I don't know if you can see that there's there's some where I had to scrape it off there was like it just smeared around the edges so I'm just trying to avoid that so there is that and I think that looks really cool so I'm going to continue on with the different Oh, let me show you, before I do that, I'll show you one of these clovers. Let's do that. I'm going to put it, again, we're mowing again today, so sorry. I'm going to put that more towards the bottom. So I'm doing bigger flowers at the top, smaller leaves, smaller flowers at the bottom. So this is just one of those readily available everywhere um, clovers I assume I think that's what they're called so let's smash this guy and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this when I'm done but let's so you can see all of that juiciness there I just think it's cute it just gives it a little bit more something going on get all that residue so it's just a little bit of something there but more bright I mean definitely more defined than the original background so this is cool just on this layering so we have that really light transfer from the eco dye the eco printing and then you know your more intense colors so then you've got this just this layering going on all right so i'm not going to have you like see every single thing that i do so i'm going to like work on this and i'll show you what it looks like when it's done okay so now that i've made a mess um here is the end result of this paper so now you've got a much better print you've got some layering here something for just an awesome background um, something you could use for an altered book page a book cover it you know insert um, I will be doing more with this later so stay tuned um, so this is going to be my background base for something else and uh, I hope you liked this I really like the cone, corn flower I keep wanting to call it cone flower I really like the corn flowers, the color that comes out of that. And then I've just grabbed like there's some grass here, um, just different. I've just concentrated more of the greens at the bottom, like you would see in nature, you know, more of the grasses towards the bottom, and then you know more of the flowers as it goes up. So I, I like the layout of this, and then all the stuff that's going on in the background here um, and then you can also do this 
on fabric because this actually transferred onto my towel here as you can see I was um, trying it out on a used tea bag so this would be really nice for embellishments for your journals or you know whatever for an art piece for a collage so I really like that so I've been saving my tea bags my used tea bags for things and then I also tried it on used coffee filter so there is that so this would be really cool for a collage or you know to make a pocket or part of a, a tag I just love it so love the technique very easy like no skill involved um, a quick background for something more detailed in the future so um, stay tuned like I said and I thank you guys for watching um, hopefully you like this video and it gives you some great ideas for your journaling for art for you know any any of your craft projects if you have not subscribed as usual um, please hit the subscribe button if you liked it please share it and um, I will see you again next time thank you again guys bye bye